Hi, this is Atlas 16 and this is the first episode of my walkthrough of XCOM Enemy Unknown. So this is a... Uh, I'll start the game since it's the first time I'll play, I'll play on normal. And then there is an advanced uh, setup here. You can choose to play it uh, with only one save. And uh, you can able the tutorial or not I'll disable the tutorial I don't care about the tutorial so I'll accept that and here we go starting and what will happen that's the same uh, stuff as in the demo so if you play the demo you should know what's going on okay so I need to identify where I want to locate my base so let's see I will put my base How about Europe. It's more diversified over there. At the same time, oh, each place has different uh, benefit. So yeah, let's go with um, Europe. They give a bonus of uh, research and workshop, so that should be good. France is sending an urgent mission request. We've picked up a local broadcast indicating okay. alien activity within a major metropolitan area. Okay, so we need to clear up uh, that area. Let's land the squad. And in case you wonder what you missed with the tutorial, just uh, check the first video I uh, released of uh, this Strike game one. on this my Atula Gaming you Network to channel, all hostile and contacts in the you'll AO. see uh, Don't the take tutorial. Alright, so I need to clear that place from enemy alien. And now there seems to be a fog of war. Or something like that. Okay, let's see. So I'll move my first soldier right there. Alien life on Earth. Nasso rifle We're guy. witnessing something never before seen in recorded history. Oh, great. Small enemies. Move him there. Moving my other guy. Seems to be floating this one. Let's see uh, close. Uh, anyway. So I'll move uh, to cover. Like that. I'll switch character. Moving behind cover as well here. Here I'll tell him to uh, down. I guess uh, what this will do is uh, he will uh, provide special fire. Well, here I'll move my sniper here. Well, I assume she's a sniper. No idea. Hunker down. So uh, I hope that hunker down means that they will return fire. So one of the aliens seem to be uh, taking over his comrade. I guess that allows them to order the other one to do crazy stuff. Suppressing one of my guy here. Oh, there's more of them over there. Here they come. There they come. What this guy? They seem to have some kind of uh, plasma pistol. Well, I guess a good thing. Uh, you do when there's two aliens like that is uh, I will throw a grenade like that. Crag out. That was a grenade. Commander, you may want to instruct your men to exercise restraint when using explosives. Restraint. While certainly What's effective that? at killing aliens, they also destroy the artifacts we're hoping to recover from the bodies. Just yeah. something to consider. Their weapons appear to self-destruct when the operator dies. We should look closely for any fragments that could be salvaged for our own development programs. Alright, let's move one of my guy there. And although they say uh, preserve uh, everything, uh, I'll go aggressively. Catch. And tell this Brazilian guy to throw it. Thank you. I'm sorry, friends, for destroying everything. You know, in the war, don't uh, don't care much for art, apparently. Let's see. I have 45% chance of 
hitting those aliens. He's down. Good work out there, strike one. Okay. If I may First Commander, mission accomplished. The labs are on high alert. Teams are standing by for your orders. Oh, had an excellent score. Pretty good. So I'm flying back to my base, which is right there. Landing. That's really nice how quickly everything is HQ, going in this. Thank you. I'm Central Officer Bradford. Yeah, my you. role in this project is twofold. Providing twofold. tactical support for our field operations oh, yeah. and keeping you briefed on the current situation. My so. efforts should allow you to focus on the bigger issues at hand. Yeah. Speaking of which, we have a soldier waiting for a promotion in the barracks. Oh, I'll right. let you get to it. Okay, so let's go to the barrack. Commander to the research labs. Commander. Impressive work, Commander. Impressive. Oh, our soldiers have to be feeling Brazilian. good after a mission like that. The heavy weapons specialist provides a crucial service to the squad. With the rocket okay. launcher in tow, there are demolitions experts. Okay, let's unlock the missile launcher. It's already unlocked. Excellent. Just like it sounds, the support class provides that intangible edge our squads need. They make everyone around them better. Our snipers specialize in dealing massive amounts of damage from afar. But without sufficient training, they're vulnerable in close combat situations. The assault class serves okay, as so our now front I have line. actually uh, the first four character of different class. The last ones out. The recovered artifacts are being unloaded, and the research team is waiting your orders. We'll get started as soon. Okay, let's go for the research. Start a new research project. Uh, I guess I have no other choice but to research uh, xenobiology. Commander, I realize our troops have to put. Indeed. Go engineering. I can build or buy items. So I can buy or manuf manufacture a satellite, which will cost me a hundred buck. Or a med kit. Now let's go for a commander. Our current satellite uplink facilities are at full capacity. Really? We should build additional uplinks as soon as possible to allow for new satellite deployments. Not enough uplink capacity to launch new satellite. Okay, so I cannot produce that or there's no point for me to produce that. We've still got some room to grow up here, but yes. if we really want to expand our facilities, Build facilities, we're going to have to start excavating beneath the base. Unfortunately, the deeper we go, the more it's going to cost. Okay. So I have right now an officer school, which I guess is the barrack. I have a satellite uplink, an access lift. Now I guess I will build a power source. Begin construction. Work crews on their way to begin construction. I'll send word when the new yeah, facility is have, operational. Uh, okay, building a power supply. I don't know what for, but can, what can go wrong there? Commander to mission control. Now, these are my control. different soldiers. The, this, okay, so uh, it seems that you can customize them quite a bit. All right, so that's my uh, Canadian uh, dual lane abilities. What's his abilities? So he has the ability of firing uh, rockets. Good for him. Load out. Let's see. Okay, so you can. Um, can use different weapon. Commander to mission control. Commander to mission control. They seem to be specialized uh, per class. So probably what happened is that you start off uh, with a small, uh, uh, well, a, a basic soldier, and from there on uh, you can specialize him toward uh, different skills. First name, oh, you can choose the first name, the race. Oh, there's different race. Oh, race tree. Okay, so essentially it's not so much a race as much as uh, it is uh, a helmet. That's a good race. Okay, so it's the face essentially. Yes, Commander. I'm on it, Commander. Yes. Got it covered. Solid oh, copy. Yeah. So copy that. Yes, Commander. Good to go. Of course. Affirmative. Commander good to, to go. mission control. That's affirmative. Commander to mission control. Okay. Oh, apparently there is different head. Okay, so so actually there's multiple race. Yeah, that's okay. Yeah, that's okay as well. Alright, so okay, Commander so there's like control. multiple categories of so uh, right. Moving out. 
Okay. Well, I'll customize them later, I guess. And I can fire them. That's practical. Alright. So, I guess... Uh, yeah, I don't have anything else to do with those. Officer Training School. Commander to Mission Control. Commander uh, to Mission Control. I cannot train them. I can hire soldiers. Okay, that's good. View a list of ships. Okay, I have two Raven, which are probably interceptor. And that's in Europe. Commander to mission okay. control. So Commander to, to mission control. Okay. I guess uh, that's pretty much it for everything. Scanning for activities. This is Earth. There's multiple planets around it. And let's see what's that about. I guess that's the different base around the world. Scan for activity. Yeah, do that. The abduction side. Commander, we've picked up multiple requests for assistance. Yep. Abductions in progress are marked on the hollow globe. Alright, so there's different mission. There's different reward as well. So I can have four scientists if I go to Brazil. For engineer, if I go to uh, United States, and money if I go to Cairo. So I guess so what I'll do now is uh, I'll prioritize scientists. So I'll go to Brazil. Let's go there. All right. So now I can actually. Let's uh, increase strength. Okay. I did my units, but it's already done. I should not have left uh, this guy with uh, his helmet. Pretty silly. Yeah, no, I nearly look like Dune again. Just need a change of haircut. Uh, Let's go. So flying to Brazil. Science first. We have visual on the mission site. Setting down. Begin the assault. Brazilian authorities have requested our help. So that's where and there we go, launching mission. Oh, it's a night mission. I wish uh, you could choose the time of the day you are attacking. It would be very nice. Central, this is Big Sky. Strike team is touching down now. Standing right. back for your orders. Oh. Roger, Big Sky. Reading you Look five like by five. Normal day Strike on one the job. is the green light for deployment. So, I guess what I'll do is I'll uh, bring my troops behind cover. I'll order them to hunker down. Should they give double cover, uh, provide immunity to critical hit and reduce sight radius. Okay, so that means that they will have uh, less sight. Alright, so let's move there. Smoke grenade, hunker down as well. And uh, him, I'll make him uh, rush uh, to that taxi over there. And her, because I'll send her just by this taxi, and I'll hope that uh, they cannot explode, which would be very unfortunate. Okay, now there seems to be something there. I don't know what's that. And you cannot zoom closer. So okay, and I can sort of turn around with uh, Q and E. Overwatch. Yes. Ah, you cannot move and fire weapon at the same. Okay, right. I'll tell her to hunk as well. So the aliens are ad advancing. Nice, uh, okay. You seem rather conservative about advancing. Enemies inside. Okay, they seem to uh, enjoy looking at green stuff on the ground that they produce themselves. I don't actually have any real visual on their target, or do I? No target available. All 
right, so I guess so. fire. Uh, what can I do with that? Tab. It's like cool. So I'll uh, make a dashing move over there. I'll make also a dashing move, or perhaps not. Can I fire on anybody? No, I cannot. So I guess I'll have to do a dashing move there. This is rather dangerous. I can shoot this alien right there, so I have 50% chance of hitting him. I have an SO rifle. So let's do that. X-ray down. Ooh, yeah. Alright. Moving still. Fencing carefully. And it's their turn now. Let's hope I don't get suppressed too much. The alien seem to be taking control of this other alien. Not sure what it does though. They are trying to flank my uh, soldiers there. Sniper is uh, receiving some fire, which is a little unexpected. Uh, but she seems still in uh, acceptable shape. So I'll move my uh, soldier right there. And I'll try to shoot the aliens over there. Missed them. I'll get them next time. How unfortunate. I'll pull back my sniper to a better position where she will be less exposed. At the same time, here what I'll do is um, I will choose this other guy right there. And I will see if I can do some damage. Alright, so there's a man there. Let's go out! Might make the car explode though, I'm not sure. Um, thing is that it's really not unclear uh, how uh, everything works. So actually what I'll do here is I'll do a dashing move. Over there. This way, I hope they uh, will be uh, behind good cover. Turn, as expected, some car exploded there. It's very fortunate that I moved my troops. At the same time, right now, I see two aliens still alive, but it doesn't mean there's not more. Damn, that was close! Indeed. Fuel's about to go. Okay, so this is a really dangerous place. Cars are exploding all over the place. Okay, so what I'll do is uh, I'll move this guy there here. As well, we'll have an angle on this alien right there. This I do. Okay, fire on him. Nailed him. Okay, nailed him. Same time here, this car is uh, burning. That means it might actually uh, explode. So I will have to move to the next car. At the same time, I have no idea if there's more stuff over there. There seems to be more uh, terrain to explore. So I guess I will have to be careful because there might be uh, way more uh, alien than that. So what I'll do is uh, I'll pull back here and I'll hunt down. Same time here, I'll move forward there. Do I have an angle on that alien? Yes, I do. I'll engage. 
Planet so. Mission accomplished. So there was only four alien, so that went well. So I will uh, fin cut my first. Situation room, Commander to the situation. All right, so this was uh, the result of my uh, uh, second battle. I uh, had uh, one of my team, uh, my sniper, which was really wounded. So I guess she will out be out of action for a 15 day. That's not practical. On the other hand, I managed to have uh, four sectoid and four weapon fragments, which will allow me to research them. I hope. So, new facility available, each laboratory. Okay, okay, okay. So now I have four we more scientists. Touch, Commander. Which uh, will hopefully the situation room. be good. So let's see. I can begin more progress. So I'll research. What's that? These strongmen are all that remain of the powerful group that we encounter. Okay, I'm still having sure. a hard time grasping what it is the aliens are hoping to accomplish here. Facility. Are they studying us? Why abduct humans seemingly at random? Okay, I can uh, produce there a laboratory. Must be a pattern so that I'll we haven't that. established yet. Commander to the situation room. Commander to the situation room. Power. Yeah, I have no laboratory, so I'll uh, build one in there. Okay. I don't think there's anything else. Officer training school. Hangar. Ship list. Nope. Well, I don't think there's anything interesting for me at the moment to see anywhere. So let's go there. Sadly, I don't seem to be able to go uh, do the other missions. So I have no choice but to scan for access lift operational. Okay, access lift completed. Excellent. Assist new construction. Okay. Commander to the situation room. Commander to the situation room. Okay. Let's go to the situation room. Contact detected. Okay, scramble interceptors. And yeah, let's send this interceptor. Let's see what's going on with that. Look like uh, a toy. I guess so uh, that's vertical takeoff for him. We have eyes on the bandit. Okay, what's going on now? Interceptor, shut down the target, UFO surveillance in the guy. Central, this is oh. Okay, let's go get that. Send Sky Ranger. Okay, so uh, the sniper I had was replaced for the moment by SU SQ Robinson. Crouching down. Begin the assault. Our target site is near the German border. 